Hey Internet Harris here. So I'm going into my second year of school. So based off my experiences last year with what I took with me to school and what I learned that I should take with me this year, I'm going to tell you guys what the best tech is for your school year, whether you're in high school or college or somewhere in between. Let's get started. All right, so probably the most important thing would be good audio. So last year I used my HomePod, which is Apple's uh, kind of big, expensive, really nice sounding speaker. And it's great for telling Siri to play something or to set an alarm or to ask for information. And my roommate and I had a lot of fun with the HomePod, but it's obviously not portable. And as good as it sounded, you couldn't take it anywhere. So Logitech actually has their new UE Wonderboom 2 speakers. This is my first time I've used a UE product and it's awesome. So they look really good. You can tell that right away and they're pretty portable, right? Like fits in my hand, I can throw it like a baseball. Like really, I can, I can throw it like a baseball, but the sound is awesome. It's super, super loud. When I power it on, it gives a nice satisfying, super loud buttons on the front to control it very easily. And it's also shockproof, so you can drop it and it'll be okay. And water and dust proof, so it can get wet and it's not going to be an issue. So whether you're poolside or in the shower or taking a bath or at a party or outside in a barbecue, there's also a outdoor mode, which you press this little button and it amplifies the sound even further for outdoor usage. Uh, but it's awesome on its own, but then you can get a second one and you can very quickly, just by pressing the top buttons, pair them together and you can put them into stereo or standard audio mode and it's insanely loud. Like you could fill up a big room with these two speakers, especially paired, uh, I love them. And they're not too expensive either, so I would, okay, you need to stop. They're not too expensive either, so I would definitely recommend Logitech's UE Wonderboom 2 speakers. I will definitely be taking these with me to school. Next, if you have an iPhone and an Apple Watch, an accessory you definitely want to get is Moco's wireless charging bay station. So if you follow Apple closely, you know that one of their products, the Air Power, was something promised and it never came. This isn't that, but it's close. So this is a nice, flat, clean, white wireless charger. So if you have an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus or 10 or 10R or 10S Max or any of those phones with wireless charging, you can wirelessly charge your phone on one side and then you can put your Apple Watch on this side. It's really clean and simple. If you wanna dock your watch up so that you can use it as like a bedside clock, you can do that as well. But with one cable, you can charge both of your devices very quickly. And if you have something like AirPods 2, you can also do that put your AirPods on here to wirelessly charge. It's a really clean and simple solution that will charge both your devices and you don't have to worry about plugging anything in. You just lay it on and you're good to go. And I really like this Moco charging system. Now up next, all right, this is like not a must have, but it's more of something if you're leaning towards anyway or you have already, an iPad is really, really great for school. I've done so many videos covering the iPad for school. I'll leave a playlist linked in the description with all of my iPad for school videos where you can see how well you can use it for notes and for studying and a lot of other things. So if you're on the fence, I definitely recommend getting an iPad, whether it be the iPad Pro or the iPad Air or even just the standard iPad, they're all awesome. So first and foremost, I recommend one of those with some type of keyboard. Again, I'll leave some links in the description to some awesome keyboard cases that I have reviewed for the iPads. But if you're going to get an iPad for school or if you already have an iPad, definitely check out some type of stylus for it. Apple's own option is incredible. It, it feels like you're writing pen on paper. It's very precise and awesome. But Logitech's Crayon added support for more iPads recently and it's cheaper. It's like 70 bucks and if you want to get this, it's a little bit more durable. It's not quite as nice, but it's still an awesome experience. If you want to write using your iPad and taking notes, I highly recommend digitalizing your notes with a stylus. So Apple's Pencil or Logitech's Crayon both incredible options for taking notes on your iPad using GoodNotes or Notability or Microsoft OneNote or anything else. Now, because you're watching this video, I assume you are a student or maybe just a subscriber. 
Either way, Skillshare has something awesome for you. So if you are struggling in a class at school and you need more help, or you want to learn a topic on your own and you don't want to take a full semester or a full year or those hundreds or thousands of dollars for that class, let Skillshare take over with their 25,000 classes in design, business, economics, whatever you can think of. Using the link in the description, you can try this out unlimited access for free for two months and there's no reason not to try. Again, using the link in the description, you can check out Skillshare and their over 25,000 classes and it will teach you anything you want to know. I've been using this for a couple months now and I highly recommend it. Again, just check the link in the description. Okay, so if you have the newest iPad Pro or you have a Mac from the last couple years that has ports that look like this, USB type C, or if you have a PC with USB type C, then I would highly recommend getting some USB C accessories. So obviously you're going to need a dongle and I use a dongle every single day for connecting even to something like this microphone that I'm using or anything else I need to plug into my computer. Uh, so the one I have from RayQ works really well. It's got two USB ports. It's got an SD card, a micro SD card slot, it's got a USB-C port on it as well, and then HDMI for connecting to a monitor. Then there are other accessories, like Nomad has these super, super durable cables for USB-C. This one is USB-C to lightning, so I can plug this USB-C port into my Mac and charge my phone from it, or I can plug this into my iPad and charge my phone from it, or I can plug this into my Mac's wall charger and charge my phone from it. They also have a USB-C to USB-C as well as a couple others. So if you want a really durable cable, one that's going to last you a while, super sturdy, like I can pull on this and nothing's going to happen. It's a really reliable, sturdy cable. Um, it's got a very nice braided texture. Uh, I definitely recommend checking out Nomad. And of course, they're not a sponsor, but I do really enjoy their high quality products. They've got a bunch of different accessories in this rugged texture. So I'll leave that linked down in the description. And finally, for USB-C, I would recommend a portable drive. Now, I'll try to show you the one that is plugged into my computer because it is being used at this moment. So you can see just how small this is. And this is 2,000 gigabytes in this tiny, tiny, lightweight footprint, uh, but it's very fast. So it is USB-C, and when you plug it into your computer, it is going to be very, very quick. Great for transferring files, great for video editing, which I'm doing right now. Um, it's killer. And because it's a solid state drive, there's no moving parts in it. If you drop it, the odds of you breaking it are so much slimmer than a spinning drive, a conventional bigger hard drive. So something like this is definitely great for expanding the storage on your computer or doing something like video editing. Highly recommend a drive like this just for extra storage. And it's one of the safest options you can get. All right, up next, a Kindle, surprisingly. This is a really good tool if you want to read without distractions. So there's no games on here, the web browser is not something you would want to use. So if you want to read without distraction, if you want to read at night with the illuminated display, if you want to do any of that and you just don't want to read on a big screen like an iPad or a small screen like your phone, this is the perfect middleman where you can read without being distracted. You can read at night, you can read without hurting your eyes. I really have enjoyed using this Kindle. It's got a dictionary built in. I can highlight things. It syncs with all my other devices, so if I ever forget it, but you can just store thousands of books onto this, which is awesome. Now, in the same vein, one thing that's really hard about school is the books that I have to read. Now, I enjoy the books that I have to read. Like, I choose the classes and the philosophy classes because uh, the books are really important, but sometimes I'm really tired or sometimes I can't concentrate. So actually using something like an audiobook is super helpful. And Audible is definitely not a sponsor of this video, but I definitely do use Audible. I signed up for a year subscription, which I got like $30 off and a couple other perks. So it's a really good deal. And I definitely recommend checking out audiobooks for yourself, uh, you, whether it's from the library or your school or from Audible, because being able to multitask, being able to maybe exercise while listening to your audiobook is something that you can't do with a physical book, or maybe when you're driving or walking around campus, or even if you read and then reread by just listening to it, it's definitely going to help your retention. And I'm definitely going to be using Audible audiobooks a lot this semester, uh, just so I can just improve my reading experience and just make it and make my college life more successful. So if you want to sign up for an Audible free trial, I'll definitely leave that link in the description because I think we both get perks if we sign up using that link. 
Okay, and then finally, some type of wireless earbuds is a must. So cables are so in the past. When you're going to the gym and you're trying to exercise, you don't want to have a cable hanging out of your pocket. When you're walking around campus and you have something in your backpack, you really just you just don't want wired earbuds. So whether it's the Beats that maybe come with your Mac or whether it's the Powerbeats Pro or Apple's AirPods, these are all amazing options that will help you just avoid the cumbersome nature of wired headphones. I definitely recommend those for exercising and just for general use at school. Anyway, those are my tech recommendations for going back to school. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or any recommendations for your favorite tech devices for school, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Skillshare with the link in the description.